that all of the election integrity measures in the world will mean nothing if we don't have free speech. And that's where we're at now. If Republicans can be censored for speaking the truth and calling out corruption, we will not have democracy and we will have only left-wing tyranny. And we can do this. We can do this. We're smarter than they are. We're tougher than they are. For some reason, we just don't — we don't get it done. We let them attack our businesses, and we don't attack their businesses. I believe your numbers are bigger than their numbers, but you're nicer than they are. You're not as vicious as they are. In the past, we would debate. I would have it. I'd debate. You've seen me for many years. They throw something. I debate. They debate. Who knows who wins? You know, people go. They vote. They see what happens. But they would have an idea. They would disagree. The public would hear it. The debate and discourse would take place. And then somebody would make a decision. You would win. You would lose. The public would make up its mind. But now there is no debate because they refuse to allow our side to even speak or be heard. They don't want debate because we have easy victories in a debate. Very easy victories. It's called common sense. It's called other things, but it's called common sense. So they don't want a debate. The time has come to break up big tech monopolies and restore fair competition. Republicans, conservatives must open up our platforms and repeal Section 230 liability protections. And if the federal government refuses to act, then every state in the union where we have the votes, which is a lot of them, big tech giants like Twitter, Google, and Facebook should be punished with major sanctions whenever they silence conservative voices. And Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida and in Texas and in other states are doing this. If they do what they're doing, Florida and that legislation will pass. And Texas and others will have tremendous power to do what's right and what's fair. We have no time to waste. Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats in Congress are racing to pass a flagrantly, flagrantly unconstitutional attack on the First Amendment and the integrity of our elections known as H.R. 1. Do you know what H.R. 1 is? It's a disaster. Their bill would drastically restrict political speech, empower the federal government to shut down dissent, and turn the Federal Election Commission into a partisan political weapon. In addition, it virtually eliminates voter ID requirements nationwide, effectively ends all registration deadlines. Can you believe this? Requires states to give ballots to felons, automatically registers every welfare recipient to vote, and puts unaccountable, unelected bureaucrats in charge of drawing congressional districts. That's going to be a lot of fun. This monster must be stopped. It cannot be allowed to pass. Now more than ever is the time for tough, strong, and energetic Republican leaders who have spines of steel. We need strong leadership. We cannot have leaders who show more passion for condemning their fellow Americans than they have ever shown for standing up to Democrats, the media, and the radicals who want to turn America into a socialist country.